Over the past year, a hostile takeover of the world food systems was avoided, but only just. The UN Food System Summit sidelined the people producing our food and brought corporate solutions to the top of the agenda. Solutions that put food security in the hands of powerful companies and unproven technologies. Solutions that make us reliant on long and vulnerable supply chains. But farmers, fishers, food workers, and people's movements fought back and defended their right to have a say on the future of food systems. Just a few weeks later, communities from around the world were fighting again to make their voices heard and demand real climate action at COP26. Thanks to these mobilizations, the worst outcomes were averted. But what if we could go further? What if the people on the front lines of food systems were able to set the agenda? What if governments paid attention to the many solutions working on the ground instead of the techno fixes promised by corporations? What if farming communities, food workers, and consumer groups could join forces to hold multinational food companies to account? What if regular information sharing allowed campaigners to see the next threats coming years in advance? Food movements are already working together and providing a vital line of defense. But to build truly sustainable food systems, we need to build new connections and collaborate more closely than ever. We need to combine short-term actions with long-term planning. This year, IPES Food and ETC Group started mapping out what a long food movement could achieve over the next 25 years. We hope you'll join us for the next stage of the journey. <laughs>